मित्राय नम थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स फॉर जॉइनिंग वे स्पीथ एन एटी चैनल एंड बीइंग ऑन द इनसाइड द इनसाइड चैनल यस आई ऑलवेज प्रे फॉर योर वेलनेस एंड फॉर द हाईएस्ट गुड लेट पीस प्रिवेल लेट लव रूल we had discussed in the previous two parts of the dark dungeons of spiritual ignorance yes it is ignorance lack of knowledge they slide into the darkness it happens with many i am in this line from almost around four and above decades almost from 19 79 had been touched by great gurus masters guided spoon fed corrected and advised to go through few sadhanas read few good books understand and keep on meditating yes i meditate a lot whatever i have achieved whatever has manifested in my life yes i owe it to my guru shri 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 aditya purnananda swami known as nandu baba but i am sure it is all because of meditation on the path meditation is looking inside i will talk elaborately about meditation in the future but now i would to talk about the dark dungeons of spiritual ignorance part 3 i call it as catter web lunatism do you know what is a catter web lunatism imagine a caterpillar meditating or doing some spiritual practice for a while it thinks about it has got a goal if god appears before me the caterpillar thinks that i would demand for some tender leaves to eat and some bushy leaves to hide protect myself from the other birds to eat me yes but once it transforms into a butterfly it is no more a caterpillar all the needs of a caterpillar are of no use to the butterfly this goes around the flowers for the nectar so many spiritualists when they are on the midway of the some time they self proclaim as caterpillars from caterpillars that they have transformed into butterflies transformation transmogrification it's not easy it's a catter web lunatism they call themselves god men but understand one thing they cannot be you know caterflies or butter pillars there has to be only caterpillar or a butterfly yes god or men it there is nothing like god men if you want to proceed on the spiritual journey in life forget about the world outside you it is more within you the journey is not outside spiritual journey is more inside you have to first understand the cosmic traps you should know the route map you should understand the dangers involved in it in the dark dungeons of spiritual ignorance there are so many hurdles on the path many unfinished premature incomplete unfit incapable forced lost over enthusiastic urgency and the super silious attitude converts them into lunatism lunatics i told you that spirituality is a snakes and ladders game where countless venomous serpents are hissing all around and one and the only golden ladder to reach the apex point of ascension shines high far away call it liberation moksha enlightenment awakening or realization it makes no difference ekam sat vipra bahuda bhavanti ekam sat 
Vipra Bahuda Vadanti. The truth is but one. The wise have interpreted it in various ways. The goal is the golden ladder. That golden ladder does not belong to one particular region, religion or one caste. It's just a perspective. They used it as a relative term. The golden ladder does not belong to any particular path, religion, caste, creed, tradition or culture. God and spirituality have no discrimination. Mother is a universal attribution. Just as motherland is a universal attribution. At the elementary level, it is very common to jump into conclusions. They are half-baked or half-boiled, half-cooked, incomplete understandings. Just imagine, as a young boy who enthusiastically joined a gym and achieved a little muzzle, the triceps and the biceps, he might feel that he is a Tara Singh or an Arnold Squall Snigger and he is always curious to show off his triceps wearing tight t-shirts. Have you ever seen a true bodybuilder exposing? Have you? That's why they say empty pots make much noise. This happens so in every field, not only spirituality, art, music, dance, anywhere and everywhere. There are always many amateur performers, such performers who conclude about themselves as complete. Singing a few ragas here and there, learning a few notes, playing few strokes, they feel high above the planet and behave as the stalwarts in their own illusionary land of lilliputs. They conclude they are the tallest among all just walking around amidst dwarfs. That is how it happens even in spirituality. The chakras are very tricky. They can even misguide the Supreme Ones. Very few who adopt to simplicity as they realize the ultimate truth that the apex point is far, high above and it is a long, long way. They wait. They cannot afford to pause and pick up an argument with the pseudo-intellectuals. They prefer to nod their heads and accept the ridiculous statements of the rivals. Even in the spiritual path, it is no exception. He begins chanting few mantras, goes on a little pilgrimage, understands few things, meets someone who talks to him about chakras, enlightenment and kundalini awakenings. They conclude themselves that they have got the keys. He reads some roadside books about bhakti yoga, watches media about God and the various definitions, some arrogant master ridiculing other cults and systems, reveals a tip here and there, and that's it. The systematic confusion created in his monkey mind drives him towards some immature, weird, self-designed sadhanas. A fine art student who starts selling his logo designs and some brush strokes, a beginner who accomplishes some little task finds it easy to open his own shop, he earns a little and is lost into the game of chasing money. This is a big trap. Thus crop up the spiritual shopkeepers. They are overwhelmed with the response. Every performer gathers a crowd and the claps intoxicate him. He enjoys playing with their sentiments. He even stoops down to the level of playing with fate, which will certainly burn him down to ashes gradually. Reason why many great sadhaks to have transformed into popularized gurus and are driven by illusions get caught somewhere, they have a headlong fall. They are driven by falsehood. They are lured by wealth, attraction and lust. These are the pits that throw them into disastrous, the dark dungeons. 
after even a decade of perfect practice and having tasted the glory in their chosen path having surprised even their colleagues and spectators they suddenly slide into an isolation into loneliness into confusion into weird behaviors and emotional conflicts they are lost they do not notice that they are not the same opportunities don't knock upon their doors anymore recognition seems to fade away you certainly can identify such ignorant ones who are enveloped by such disasters they mess up with their relationships first they have failed themselves and failed their own family members and well wishers they are dumped into the first layer of depression they don't notice it they fail to understand that it is a pitfall yes you can identify them they are happy they are always happy in finding faults with others they cannot they cannot control themselves they enjoy to make pseudo intellectual comments about everything and anything knowingly or unknowingly they begin to mock ridicule and criticize they acquire special skills of sarcasm they like to insult others they like to belittle others they talk high about their past they have gone into their flashbacks find someone who is keen to talk about his past make tall statements about his past realize that he is doing nothing now they keep narrating stories about any prospering person or situation they stop working they build trash reasons and logics to cover their faces does calling it a conspiracy they say somebody is doing something on against him they say it is a suppression they are hiding their inner depression they blame a person or a system for their failures and headlong falls this is the trap yes they are trapped into the first compartment of the dark dungeon their ignorance shapes up into arrogance and foolishness their personal life becomes a mess no one seems to be liking him even his own people there will be people all around praying that they come out of the clutches of such an idiot but they cannot express it no one likes to associate with such an unpredictable person this is the time when the black doors of the second compartment open up to drag them into the deeper darkness they succeed in joining the herd of such nutty professors trying to call it a satsang they don't do sadhanas in the satsang they do reviews about others everything outside they they are doing a window shopping such people are called information gatherers igs they are the people who started towards spirituality but ended in window shopping they join equal minded people birds of the same feather do flock together they gather lilliputs and start building an empire or a cult with half baked and queer formulations pity them they have left the guiding force in their life they left the guru they left the school they left the light channels they are attracted to falsehood and deceit all that glitters is not gold 
they might have crossed the Muladhar Chakra trap, almost even crossed the Swadhisthana Chakra trap, but the Manipuraka Chakra will not allow such sadhaks to enter into its domain. Damari Dhankari Namari Tamasi Sthanvi Dakshayani Datri Nanda Parvati Phatkari The Ten Lords of the Manipuraka Chakra The Goddesses who rule the Manipuraka Chakra The Yellow Twelve Patal Lotus is at the throat which is Vishuddha The Ten Petal Lotus is the one which is the Manipuraka Chakra Yes Muladhara Chakra with the four petals red in color Above that is the Swadhisthana Chakra with the six petals in orange in color and above that is the ten-petaled beautiful yellow colored lotus which is the Manipuraka Chakra, the tricky one. Either it behaves like a golden storehouse or it could even become an iron dustbin. All the emotions are gathered there. Hatred is born there, love is born there. Forgiveness is born there and vengeance is born there. The Manipur Chakra is very dangerous. It will not, it will try to stop immature people into it. The Manipur Chakra will not allow such sadhaks to enter into its domain. There is a big process. They are done. Once the entry is restricted, they don't understand. They think they are there. They don't realize that they have forgotten to walk. Slowly, they are shrinking. They are crawling creatures. Such failure personalities resort to disguise. They begin to inspire others in their own limited perspective. They don't give freedom to them who depend upon such masters. They put on their own crown. They build their own throne. They are the kings of their own Lilliput empires. That is the little dark dungeon which they are conditioned into. They do not have in them the software which allows them to understand that it is a very, very long path and there are no shortcuts to the apex point of essence. But the right aspirants stay balanced. Nature is all about balance. Life is all about understanding how to strike a balance. A person who loves to respect others gets the respect. They do not cause pain to others. They become great embodiments of unconditional love, the so-called zoolographic love. They don't compare, they don't criticize, they talk very less. Brevity of speech and verbosity of silence is experienced in them. It shows that they are going towards the goal. They are on the right path. We call it as detachment through attachment. The world need not know that you are detached. You need not, need not become a sannyasi. You can be like Mercury, untouched, uninfluenced. You are on your path. You meet someone in the midway of your train journey. You don't carry him along. Just talk to him for a while. Let them do their job. You do your job. And you move on towards your own destination. Don't try to influence them or be influenced by them. Just gather the knowledge. Bow down to the Guru. Bow down to the cosmic intellect. The chosen few or the destined few realize that knowledge is an ocean and it is not over. They stay focused. They are indomitable. They keep walking forward in the same pathway, very well composed. They are not curious to spill over. They understand the truth that not everyone is running towards a goal. They understand the basic truth that many run helter-skelter even without a goal or destination. It's a pity. And we are not mocking at them who are falling. We just pray that they should be guided the right way. 
let us do everything for the highest good let us be we let us all be responsible for the progress of the world in god's creation everything is an unfinished painting my dear friends such sadaks who realize this truth they are more refined they are more integrated they are not hasty at all they may feel that they are great spiritual scholars but they don't rub their nasty noses to the society around they know what they are they know their strengths and weaknesses they want more to conquer they want to learn more they stay as sadaks and students now they are entering into the third chamber remember that the very first chamber is the muladhara chakra domain which has several pits open into the dark dungeons which were discussed in the first part ego anger over enthusiasm and uh, hypocrisy the second chamber is the swadhisthana chakra domain which was explained in the next the second part how they are driven towards vices that's the trap there now this is the third part this is the narrow pathway that leads to the toughest of all the manipuraka chakra domain it's very complex my dear friends it's not easy nothing comes easy even if they succeed into entering this chamber of course it's a great achievement the alluring traps are more tricky here they go into an illusion they are that they are now the masters of their own fate they quickly resort to healing responding and demonstrating the little powers acquired so far yes it works miracles do show up many are benefited by the deed the healing happens they are adored they are worshiped they attain the place of a guru that's it guru itself is a beautiful word and it is the most attractive trap into which they could easily slide gu is darkness and ru is warding away darkness but in this process the so called guru is trapped into an unknown rukaratvam the darkness he is again a sharp keeper he talks about esoteric wonders he explains to all his people how he is responsible for the great happening somewhere how he has healed people how he has solved others problems the more he is trying to talk about his leela he is sliding down yes he is again converted into a shopkeeper he talks about esoteric wonders he strives to be supreme and this is the trap that could misguide him into a dangerous illusion of god man ideology he will have huge crowds around he forgets his destination i honestly tell you guru is a great power true na guru radhikam tatvam na guru adhikam tapah tatva gnanat param nasti tasmai shri gurave namah in fact guru is not an individual guru is the wonderful expression of the torch that shows the path the torch that shows his followers his disciples the seekers the path he is the torch bearer it is great to be a guiding force to the innocent and the sincere but unfortunately in this deadly dangerous game there is every possibility to be drawn towards the huge pit that drags him into the dark dungeons of spiritual ignorance yes he is crowded by power mongers 
రిచ్ క్లాస్ బ్యూటీ సెక్స్ ఎంటర్టైన్మెంట్ సక్సెస్ సుప్రీమసీ అండ్ డామినేషన్ ఓహ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద బిగ్గెస్ట్ మిస్ హ్యాప్ దట్ పుష్ట్ సేజ్ విశ్వామిత్ర హీ వాస్ థ్రోన్ ఇన్ టు ఇట్ ఇన్ టు ద చార్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ మేనక ద బ్యూటియస్ట్ ద పూర్ గురు ఫాల్స్ ఇన్ టు ద ఫాల్స్ హెడ్ ఆఫ్ క్రియేటింగ్ మాస్ ఎ వెల్త్ అండ్ ప్లెజర్స్ హీ బిల్డ్స్ అప్ గ్రేట్ ఇన్ఫ్లుయెన్స్ ఎస్ దిస్ ఇస్ ద కాస్మిక్ ట్రాప్ This is where many sadhaks, healers, masters and gurus are lost into sexual pleasures or the scandals. This is where they are caught by their callers into overindulgence, into drugs, into fun, into crime, thus shaping up into mafias. They are lost, no coming back. Let us not mock at them. they have to begin it all over again probably in their next janma hence the need of a guru is very important though it could be the trap of destruction to the so called self proclaimed gurus but there are several gurus even today who do not crave to be noticed they are not intoxicated with the claps and the applause of the followers they realize the truth they stick on strongly to their goals and practices they wait they stop they analyze they realize they decide then they are not hasty they don't crave to stand upon the dais be garlanded or felicitated they perfectly understand the precise meaning and definition of guru tatva yes they are the blessed ones who stay well connected to the guru tatva they understand the ultimate fact that they are just zeros they know that they are the electric wires that carry the powers of the omnipotent and omnipresent they realize that they are not the tree but just a tiny flower which belongs to the gigantic tree they cling on to the branch cautiously and meditate upon transforming into a fruit and then carry the fertile seeds to spread the powers of cosmic excellence to give the energy back to nature they are loving they are caring and they are forgiving yes love and forgiveness are divine they are never hasty they are never weak or they are never lost they come back to their path with the help of their gurus dear friends this is not the end of the story the manipuraka chakra domain is vast it appears to be endless they now need to identify the one and the only pathway towards the apex point the vertex point of ascension they should not be again misguided into the mysticism where hundreds of pits are intelligently waiting to pull him into the dark dungeons at this level too they are challenged what are the traps there what are the highest level traps here what are the dangerous curves which are ahead at the manipuraka chakra range please mitras allow me to come back soon to reveal them in the next part the dark dungeons of spiritual ignorance part 4 please understand the first three parts and keep meditating the dark dungeons of spiritual ignorance is important for us to realize you should not be converted into a lunatic because you have entered a spiritual path yes stay tuned ever mitras rally meditation is the most powerful channeling invoke surya invoke the god invoke the supreme please follow vspthenetic channel stay tuned 
This is the voice of Keshara Mitra. And I thank you all for being with me. Please respond, subscribe and invite more like-minded souls into the inside chambers of VSP Tenetti channel. But realize one thing, faith, it is the master key. Where there is no faith, there are no miracles. And if you don't believe such stuff, better don't be in here. Thank you. Mitraya Namaha. Aditya Sakshi. Sampoorna Rakshita. Digvijayi Bhava. Shubham.